Rishi Sunak, who recently assumed the role of Prime Minister following Liz Truss's brief tenure, initiated a review of the UK's immigration policies upon taking office. One of his first actions was to examine the visa status of high-profile individuals living abroad but frequently traveling to the UK, such as Harry and Meghan. Sunak contends that as non-working royals who have stepped back from their official duties, Harry and Meghan should not have unrestricted entry into the UK. He argues that since their primary residence is now in California and their visits to Britain are primarily for private reasons rather than official royal business, they should adhere to the same immigration rules as any other foreign national. Under Sinak's proposed regulations, Harry and Meghan would require valid visas for travel to the UK, and their entry could be denied if deemed unnecessary by the Home Office. There are concerns that they may exploit their celebrity status to frequently travel for layer or publicity events rather than for royal engagements. The aim is to ensure that their visits to the UK are essential and regulated properly. Harry and Meghan reportedly reacted with anger upon learning of Sinak's decision, viewing it as an intentional move to exile them from Britain and further strain their relationship with the royal family. They have consistently expressed their desire to maintain ties with the UK as evidenced by numerous statements and interviews. The UK has always been a significant part of Harry and Meghan's lives, and they've expressed their intention to raise their children, Archie and Lily, at least partially in Britain. Therefore, the government's decision to restrict their access was seen as a betrayal and hostile move by Sinat. Sources close to the couple reveal Meghan's emotional reaction, including tears during discussions with lawyers about their visa status. While Harry reportedly expressed frustration, labeling the ban as effectively rendering them for persona non grata. Supporters of Harry and Meghan argue that the government's action is disproportionately harsh and seems driven by vendetta politics due to the couple's departure from the royal family and subsequent criticisms. They contend that while Harry and Meghan are no longer working royals, denying them the right to visit family in the UK without justification is unjust and has only exacerbated existing tensions, likely worsening the rift with the royal family. On the other hand, supporters of Sunak and the government emphasize the need for equal application of rules regardless of royal or celebrity status. They maintain that issues of immigration law and taxpayer-funded visits cannot be swayed by emotions or family ties alone. They suggest that if Harry and Meghan refuse to adhere to standard visa procedures, their options become limited. Behind closed doors, there are reports of crisis talks involving Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace representatives for Prince William, and lawyers representing Harry and Meghan, all working to find a resolution to the situation. Sources suggest that bridging the differences between the government and Harry and Meghan has proven challenging at this stage. One option proposed was to allow the couple occasional short visits for family purposes without requiring visa. However, Sinak has firmly stated that he will not make any exceptions for them despite mounting pressure. He accuses the Sussexes of politicizing an administrative process and attempting to leverage their popularity to bypass the rule. In response, Harry and Meghan feel they are being unfairly targeted due to Sinak's personal animosity rather than through objective decision-making. Predictably, the drama has intensified, garnering extensive global media coverage and sparking heated debates across social media platforms. Broadcast outlets and newspapers on both sides of the Atlantic are filled with reactions either condemning or defending Sinop's visa ban on the Sussexes. The situation remains exceptionally dense with no resolution in sight. Some experts warn that Sinak's refusal to budge could tarnish the monarchy's reputation as a neutral institution and hinder future reconciliation efforts. However, Sinak faces considerable political pressure from his own conservative party to stand firm, especially after Hay and Meghan's criticisms of the royal establishment. Only time will reveal the outcome of this major disagreement. What is evident is that both sides hold firm positions that are challenging to reconcile without significant compromise. The fate of Harry and Meghan's ability to freely visit Britain hangs in the balance and their relationship with the UK government is now more strained than ever. Meanwhile, their rift with the royal family seems poised to deepen as tensions continue to escalate on all fronts of this bitter standoff.